naming them, although on the map they still appear as worker ABC, I think. Or not at all. And um, it's only when they stop working it'll say, oh, Carlos has finished working. Okay, let's jump over that and we can sell that for 25 that. That's actually quite good. And that's still worth 87. I could repair it. It's not going to be worth significantly more if I do repair it. Basically, do oh, you want to repair the vehicle for 447? Now it's currently worth 87. If I add 447, that'll be about 87551. 87908. So I gain another 400 pounds on the sale value. So we'll sell that. Sad to see that go. That was a nice truck, but we need things. And the things we need are. Oh, somewhere. Oh, that's where the tanks are. Okay. So, let's go back. Let's go there. So the tandem three axle, 28,005. Okay, I'll buy that. Main color will go back to olive and ring color will go stainless. Wheel brand. Oh. Okay, Trailburg. Oh, Lizard lets me... Mm. I'll go Trollburg. Um, there we go. Beacon. Yeah, I'll put a beacon on the back. Put version 1. Axles 3. Oh, you can go 2 axles on this. I might go 2. Okay, mud flaps. I'm probably going without because they usually, yeah, it says pass on this side, and obviously, oh, I could do that without. Tail lights. I'm gonna go with. I think we have version four on the truck. Warning board. Yeah, no. Side markers. Oh, that's those little hook thing. It's the little lights on the back here. And not going to take those because they tend to get stuck on things. That pushes our price up to 33. What cost us all the money? Oh, the wheel set up. Mm. We'll go with the troll book. And the beacon and the stuff and the tail lights. Okay. We will buy that. And then animal transport. Gonna buy one of these. Main color, design color. Okay, that's the legs. Um, and pretty much nothing else to go with that. And by that, then I'm going to get another tipper body for um, the trailer. Somewhere. There it is. And didn't I go grey on that? 
grey, we'll get warning signs. Uh, logo white, reflector with, and that's fine. Okay, and main color. I think we went that design color. I think we went matte black by that too. Okay, lots of stuff. But this is actually this is going to be a little bit tricky. So the way we will do this is as follows. Oh. That spawned badly. And that has cost us a little bit more money than we started with. Okay, let's get that in there again without getting ourselves wrapped around the body legs. Alright, that's good. Attach that back up. I'm going to put this here. And then Attach the animal trailer to the front. Oh, we'll crash into the van in the corner. That's somewhat of a plan. So, we'll attach the animal body to the truck. Look forwards. And now. the trailer and there's enough room to attach the shell for the tipper to the back uh, except issues okay ah well that's not really what I had planned to start. Unfortunately I'm now stuck in it. And it's facing the wrong way. So very, very carefully. We'll do that. There now. Fixed it. Kinda. I should just be able to reverse trailer into there. Transport animals, and I've got the ability to transport 46,000, no, 86,000 litres of grain on this setup. <coughs> oh. I've also got the ability to get stuck on trees. And, well, 
didn't hit the lamppost. So that's a promising start. Now this kit's a little bit long, so I'm going to assume the trailer is in effect a semi-trailer, or at least as close to it. I don't have much in the way of storage for this stuff. Uh, I think I'll detach the trailer first. We'll drop off the animal thing and then we'll uh, take all the rest of it up to the top and go and reattach the tipper. Should probably have thought ahead before doing this. Alrighty. Let's, um, Lizard Tandem three axles. Actually, only got two on mine. But I think this shed is a little bit too short for... Oh, actually... Oh, there's a thought. I do have a shed at the top that this, this might work for. Let's go do that. This shed here, completely unused. Come on. Let me get in. Okay, so. I'm going to do... And this truck's probably maneuverable enough. I can get everything in to the left of the entrance. very well at this so uh but also worryingly the fact that that tipper shell sank into the ground not a good deal so I kind of want to be careful about parking this stuff and make sure I can I can still walk around it and maybe use super strength to recover it if it sinks into the ground but that looks okay out stuck on those okay I got stuck on something shut that and we'll forget where we put that go grab the tipper and we'll connect everything up ready for the next time we do things, which won't be too long.
<coughs> hmm. That was a bad plan. Yeah. Okay, things to be aware of when you have a steering axle. The steering axle at the back is not driven. Stop. Kind of looks like an army truck. skidding and the sliding. Now also not too worried about how much money we've spent on this truck. And that's primarily because as I said we've still got crops to sell. We're probably gonna make a hundred thousand just from sheep sell sales and potentially another hundred from wool anyway let's um, park this here let's jump out move this guy over here So yeah, while, the, while this cart does not have a uh, cover, um, we're mostly using that during harvest. I plan to use this setup mostly during... My covers are different. Well, that sucks. It is what it is. It's what I chose to put in there. Okay. Gonna dump. Oh, that's a little bit laggy. Now the lag will probably kind of fix itself. Um, once we get below 30 crates oops well that was a little disaster Put that there It's also falling off. Uh, we'll drop that there. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Seven. Okay, need the Land Rover. Did I leave a vehicle engine on? Yep. Alrighty, so let's go stage some some food for all of our sheep. Also need to move some silage bales out to the fields as well. <coughs> oh Probably a good idea to do that first. And I 
think these don't go through fences so or through hedges. So we'll do this and we'll fill the water up. Okay, how much? We have zero. Don't know how many I've got in the other fields, but it is what it is. I will put one in the feed area. We used about half of that. I'll stick that right there. That's a good place. We'll grab one from the back. Now the thing is, is the sheep in this field eat more food because now that they're all adults and there's more of them. That's a thing. While they were still small, they really did need a lot of food. Okay, so that's two full ones and a partial. We'll uh, throw that over there. Okay, where's the other single? I'll stick that by the Land Rover too. So these are our partially used things. Um, what we'll do is we'll put that on top of the hay. Okay, so we've got three crates here. Uh, wrong button. And what's that? Sugar beets, same today and tomorrow, it's different the day after. So potatoes is the next thing we're selling, but that's not important right now. Oakfield farm sheep, we need clover silage in this field. We need maize in this field. Okay, so that's all a thing. We'll worry about that later. Right now I'm just worried about the sugar beets and crashing into a gate. Okay. Make a wide berth around the feed area and our pile of snow. So I'm going to take two crates to each of the other two fields, which hopefully should last us a few days. I could take all of them and just distribute everything, but yeah. I like to get out there and check up on the sheep very occasionally. That really looks like a lot of mess. Okay, that's feeding, that's feeding. Yay, water. Drag that over there. Oop. Oh, and then put it right about there. Kind of want some more hay for here too. Put that on there. That. Okay. Pull forward. I'm going to drop two crates over the wall, and then we'll go off and deal with the other field of sheep. Okay. Yeah, that was a thing. that field. Wrong button again. <coughs> so that's the top field. That's the field I just looked at. So again, need clover silage. Ah, now we're needing fresh grass. Okay. 
and then this one will be able to top off with uh, stuff too. Okay, so silage bales. Oh, this one still has a silage bale. That's kind of handy. It also has extra sugar beets. Although that one's going to be empty <coughs> right about now. That one. Going to be partially used. I'll put that here. Um, I think. This bale might be at a partial level. Yep. That's going to disappear. Um, again, wrong button. Okay, that's the one I did over there. So that we're on Elm Flower. Where are we? Yes, we're on Elm Flower. So I'll grab that one. Put that there, pick it up. Put it there. Put the crate on top of it. That's the partially used one. Oh, okay. to and I will put them back here go round Good, let's drive. So one of our sheeps has got a bale of silage and the others have none. So and are gonna use one. So if I say two at this field we just left, I'm gonna want four at the other two fields. Maybe five. Okay then. So, as far as I'm aware, um, next week we will be looking at pretty much the same deal. Um, normal Saturday. So we will be back here on Oakfield Farm and I will continue my quest for a new uh, map for FS22. And we are about, what is it? One, two, three, four, seven weeks from getting precision farming for Farm Sim 22. And then we'll be able to play Farm Sim 22 without using up too much uh, fertilizer and lime and all the fun stuffs. I think for right now, I'm just going to load this up. I'm going to take the bales out to the sheeps and make all our sheeps very, very happy. But for right now, Enjoy your weekend, have a good week, and I am out of here.